Okay, what's going on? Welcome to today's video. A little bit of a different video. Happy, happy Monday. Labor Day Monday it is right now. Um, I don't know if, for those of you guys that watched the live stream last night, uh, this was a, uh, a discussion topic which we, we dug real deep into. Uh, that topic is the next pump operators challenge. So we've had two challenges previously. Um, we've had the hose drag challenge, which was one of them. And then previous to that, we had the sponge ball challenge. Uh, the sponge ball challenge, the challenge was the first person to lose their sponge um, was the loser. So Caleb lost that. So that was the end of that challenge. Uh, and the hose drag challenge was uh, Ian versus Jeff uh, dragging X amount of three inch hose X distance. I'll insert a link for that one somewhere up here. And I'll insert a link for the live stream at the end of this video. And I'll attach it in the uh, description as well. So down to the nitty gritty. The next challenge will be... 2024 and maybe it'll carry on to 2025 who knows I doubt that it will but it might uh, prime out challenge so here's the idea here's the rules uh, the idea behind the prime out challenge is and this is only applicable for line pumping off of a line pump doesn't count for line run off the end of a boom it's line pump only um, each and every time you prime out however much amount of system you have on the on the pump is worth one point so if you have 150 feet of system that's worth 150 points. If you prime out two jobs in a day, both at 150 feet, that's a total of 300 points. If you do the same thing the next day, that's another 300 points, so that's 600 points. And the challenge is, well really what the challenge is, is the first one to fail uh, by plugging. The first time you plug any sort of plug, you're out, you're done. That's, that's your cumulative total and you're out of the contest. So the winner, who's actually the loser, is the first one to plug. Now, Thinking about it further, I think we should actually also have a true winner as well. So the person who reaches the uh, the highest cumulative total of lines successfully primed through, there should also be a prize for that. We'll get into that later. So here's the rules as they uh, pertain to the competition. Maximum, five gallons of primer allowed for every 250 feet of system attached. Doesn't matter if it's two inch hose, four inch steel pipe, whatever it is five gallons maximum amount of primer and the primer of the operator's choice whatever you want to use bent night slick willy mortar mix whatever um, primer must be introduced into the system spaced at intervals of no greater than 250 feet so if you want to put one bucket in right at the back of the pump you can't put another bucket in until the 250 foot mark so Every 250 feet, you can use five gallons of primer and you can put them in at zero feet and 250, zero and 300, whatever you want to do, but you could not put a bucket in at zero feet and also a bucket in at 175 foot mark. Doesn't, doesn't work that way. Now the primer can be rolled through the system. If you want to throw a bucket of primer in the system and roll it through the hoses, perfectly acceptable. If you want to put it in the end of the hose and roll it back to the pump, that's fine too. That's totally okay. That is kosher. Uh, just not in excess of the allotted five gallons per 250 feet of line. Usage of plastic bags, sponge balls, or paper bags slash sacks on the prime, totally acceptable. Plastic bags, it, the couplings to hold the primer back, that's cool. Uh, sponge ball, if you want to try that, sponge ball ahead of your primer, that's fine. Paper sack ahead of your primer, whatever you want to do. Sponge balls, plastic bags, paper sacks, you're good. Uh, each contestant will be awarded, as I mentioned before, one point per each lineal foot of system successfully primed. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Bonus points. Bonus points of multiplication factor 1.5, or just call it 1.5 points per lineal foot of system will be allotted for any total amount of system over 250 feet. So if you have a 400 foot prime, the first 250 feet is one point per foot and everything after that is 1.5 points per foot. Now, the caveat is only if one bucket of primer is used at one single location in the system. So should you choose to use more than one bucket as you could on say a 300 foot prime and introduce it at multiple points as you could on a 300 foot prime, you're not applicable to bonus points. You're only applicable to bonus points if you throw the bucket in at the first hose or at one point, whatever point that is that you so choose, 
and you do it all one shot, full pull, five gallons of primer, then you are applicable to the bonus points. Otherwise, it's just standard one point per foot. Uh, full and complete system must be primed in one shot. Multiple stage primes are not eligible for points. So if you have a 400 foot run, you can't prime out 200 feet, pour a little footing, then connect up to the remaining 200 feet. Um, if the placers decide they want to add on two hoses because they built another wall and pour that, um, those extra hoses do not count. They are not applicable to points. So, uh, ready mix supplied grout is not permitted. Ordering a yard of grout in a ready mix truck is not applicable to points. Grout produced from a volumetric concrete truck is not permitted either. It's got to be bag, bottle, whatever material. Um, yeah, no, no, no grow. Uh, hoses can be lifted, shaken, rolled before and or during the priming process. If you want to roll your primer through, that's fine. If you want to roll the prime through as you're priming, that's fine. Um, if you catch a little plug and you are able to shake it through or roll it through and save the prime, that's okay too. You're good. Now, any usage of hammers or hammer type implements during the priming process will result in an immediate failure and disqualification from the prime mode challenge. You cannot hit or beat on the hose with anything, even your, even your fist, your own meat hook, you can't do it. Strictly forbidden. That's like the cardinal sin here. You cannot do that. That's cheating. We don't cheat. Um, in situations where system must be cleaned out and later reprimed, that same pour, all reprime system will be applicable to points. So Jeff had a recent video where they had a bit of a weight on their second load of concrete. So he blew his system out. When it got there, he reprimed. Um, so that, that is allowable. That's applicable too. Applicable for points at the standard one to one ratio. Uh, I would say even if he had 400 feet of system and you reprimed all 400 together, not only would you get the one to one, but you'd also get the bonus points if you only use the one bucket of primer introduced at one point in the, uh, in the run of system. Uh, here's a good one especially in long line pours. For pours requiring multiple operators, the operator controlling the machine during the primal process is the only one eligible to earn points. As well, they are the only one subject to elimination from plugging on said prime. So whoever is running that remote while you're doing the prime, you can get the points, you can get the glory, or you can get the old heave ho if you plug. So yeah, I would say choose your, uh, uh, be, be strategic about this and choose wisely. I could see Ian and I, we have a 400 foot line job in a week and a half. It's probably going to come down to rock, paper, scissors more than likely. So it's the right way to do it. Um, for any disputes and the rules, anything needs to be settled. Um, we've appointed Michael Setner of Conforms as the official referee. Michael was the official referee for the uh, hose drag challenge and he did an absolutely magnificent job. Um, so he has been called back to duty to uh, officiate this challenge. Um, as such, Michael would have the final word in resolving any potential disputes or allegations of blatant cheating as they may pertain to the official rules as presented above. So, so that's everything we've got. Um, there is one I need a little bit of clarity on. Maybe, maybe you guys can help us out in the comments here. Uh, we talked about it a bit on the live stream. Uh, if we're going to put our primer in the first hose at the back of the pump, let's say we've got a couple of reducers off of the hopper, are we allowed to first take a couple strokes or say one stroke of material through the reducers, catch it in a bucket, then put our primer into the hose and then, and then commence our prime. I know like Jeff likes to throw his grout in the back elbow. Um, I do that sometimes too. There's other times where if the material is a little bit rough, uh, I'll take a half a stroke out of those reducers and then introduce the prime into the hose. I also think that Pushing that first little bit through the reducers does tend to, to segregate it a bit, especially in our market where we're not just tapering down to three inch, but we're tapering down to something like two inch right off the back of the pump. By the time that material gets tapered down to two and hits that first hose, uh, quite often it's already it's already fighting a battle. So I think that we should be allowed to take a stroke or say maximum five gallon pail of concrete from those reducers before introducing the prime if we so choose. Um, Another reason that I say that, and that brings me to another point I was going to make, uh, but I say that uh, because as much fun as this is, we, we all are uh, we're running businesses here. We're trying to be professional and, and you know perform for our customers and provide a service and, and value. Um, so pumping through those reducers is something I would regularly do. I don't consider it cheating whatsoever. 
Um, so I think we should be allowed to do that. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Um, the other thing I will say, um, yes, if we plug on an applicable prime, uh, we are, we're out of the contest, we're, we're done, it's over. Um, but if we have a very technical job um, and you know, adding primer more than every 250 feet is deemed necessary to get the job started and do it safely and professionally, I don't think we should be penalized for that. It just won't count as points, but I don't think we should be kicked out of the competition because it all circles back that we're trying to provide a service and be professional here. We're having a little bit of fun here, but I truly do believe that what we're doing here, um, if we're not plugging on the prime, and it's not taking us any longer than what we'd normally do to get set up and whatnot. We're actually, it's a win-win. We're providing a, a valuable service for our customer too. Everybody wins. Um, it's better, faster, safer. So for 99% of situations, this should apply. But special pours, I think there should be an exemption is my opinion on it. And I, I think that the other guys will agree. Um, how we'll monitor all this. Uh, I don't expect everybody to shoot a video of every single prime, a full video especially. Uh, if you can get a even a little YouTube short just off the phone uh, would be awesome. Uh, if you can't get that, uh, it'd be nice to at least see if you plug and you're out of the competition, at least pull the phone out and catch a quick, even 10 second video of the plug, just so we can see it. Everybody wants to see that. Everybody loves, loves the adversity. If you can catch 10 seconds of the prime coming out of the hose, that's cool. Uh, a lot of honor system at play here. I think, uh, I like to think we're all honorable concrete pumpers in this competition here so there's there's a big trust factor here as well so so how we're going to run this is um there like i said before there's going to be an award for the first loser first person to fail uh is going to get probably a not so nice prize um and the person that wins that carries the uh you know the, the highest cumulative total what i'm hoping is um world of concrete which is uh late january 2025 in las vegas um, we were in discussions, but we're hoping to do this presentation uh, at the Conforms booth with our buddy Michael Setner, also the referee of the event. We'll do it at the Conforms booth at World of Concrete. I'm not sure which day yet. Probably later in the week. I'm thinking like a Wednesday or Thursday when the show has cooled off a little bit. I know it's a little bit hectic the first couple of days. Um, so we'll try and do it then. I'm talking to Mike, trying to twist his arm, seeing if Mike could kindly donate any sort of a safety related prize uh, that would go towards the winner. I'm thinking like a reducer cover. I even like a nice 150 bar clamp or something like that. It's not, nothing over the top expensive, but something that has a little bit of a, um, a safety element to it, I, I think would be, would be very fitting. So we'll see if Mike can come through. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he does. And I also hope that the competition is wrapped up by then. The way that Jeff has been going here, uh, January, 2025, he may still be on a run of not having plugged. Um, so I don't know. I mean, if that's the case, he obviously gets the trophy. If a couple guys are uh, are still still running on a hot streak, um, we may have to reevaluate uh, what we're going to do for awarding a prize to the winner. But I can almost guarantee, with full certainty, somebody will have failed by January 2025. So, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, priming through the reducer, you know, up to one five-gallon pail of material before throwing the primer in the hose to commence your prime out. Uh, is is that acceptable? I personally think it is. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, what do you think are some some good ideas for for prizes for both uh, both winner and loser? Uh, what are your predictions for who is going to win and and who's going to lose? Uh, let us know in the comments and uh, look forward to getting cracking on this one. Like I said, it's Labor Day right now, so as of Tuesday tomorrow, the Prime Out contest, Prime Out challenge, it's on. So till then, keep on pumping. Catch you on the next one. Oh, and while we're here, check out the uh, the new memorabilia setup I put together here. Mainly a backdrop for the live streams. That's an ACPA cover from a few years ago. Got my LeBaire model. Got my model from Chris over at Meals Concrete Pumping Australia in a sweet belt buckle. ACPA Pump Rodeo Championship before I got smoked the uh, the following competition. And I got this trophy here and this little pink hammer. This is probably going to be part of the uh, the prize for the person who loses, gets gets eliminated from the competition first. We'll put something nice together there. Arts and Crafts Day for that one. A picture my, my daughter did of a, it's a 38 meter 5 Putzmeister. I only see three sections, but the rest of the boom is probably, you know, she, she should have done a panoramic. We'll finish that up later. We'll con it's a continuation. 
And then we got the official rules on the board here. Let me get all the names. Scott, Jeff, Caleb, Darren, and Ian. My boy Ian is jumping in. Got the uh, the columns and then the totals. So I'll be keeping track of this. I'll be the, the official scorekeeper. Um, like I said, any, uh, any discretionary calls that need to be made, I will refer to the uh, official referee, competition referee, Michael Setner. But uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how it all unfolds. Or in my case, probably falls apart. Stay tuned. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever.